Well, go back here, look at the damage. Jesse's talked about it or not. We have acquired another hay mower with the correct net one. And the Heston nine foot cut for the last oh, three, four years. And every now and then we've been borrowing a hay mower from my uncle. And we just we don't want to we don't want to just keep coming to borrow stuff. So me and him have been looking for an extra hay mower for the last four, five, six months or whatever, trying to find one that's affordable, not more out. Oh, barely, Mr. Boy. Woo, sorry. Gonna slip a piece of notebook paper between that paper and the truck. Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to get back to the truck. Yeah, anyways, we put that whack the truck. It's probably a little bit felt like it was too anxious. Anyways. So we've been looking for hay mowers. Called about a bunch of them. I looked at a few. The ones that were nice were expensive. I mean, we're talking about like four or five thousand dollars to the new one. So if you're going to spend that much money, might as well go with a new one. And I found another one that's in really good condition. Uh, people took excellent care of it. Demonstrated cutting for us. I think it's going to be a great day. Look at the power suit gun. Get ready on that. And we've got a long conversation for work. But next week, the following, I'm going to start playing things.
As I was saying, my hydraulic pump, they have died. Got lost in shit. Yep, we just got to cruise the edges of the field. Oh yeah, I blew the Throw my hydraulic foot all the way down that side. Yep, she ain't turning. That ain't good. Is it not good? I don't have no steering. We're gonna have a dead streak, a streak of wheat for sure. Uh, get up here with the wheat, thanks to the call. Let's call Big Don for some backup. They bring it. Maybe it won't roll here. Yeah, uh, cause we ain't lifting things up, we ain't doing Excuse my language. Just, just take a break. I blew out. Well, let's go back here and look at the damage. Well, hit, let's check our hydraulic tank first. Yeah, she's low. She's super low. I should be able to stick my finger in and touch it, but you can't. So it's definitely low. Huh. <sighs> Watch your head. And she is all wet and drippy back here. Loaded all over the tire. Oh, I'm gonna need something to lay on. Blow that everywhere. Maybe it just got a hose. So, I'm gonna get this figured out. And boom, we're back. And, uh, you know, she has $600 worth of hydraulic fluid later. We got her problem solved. Had a hose give out back there, right by the pump. I mean, it give plumb out. Y'all turned around there, get the good side. We're going back over old tracks. You look right over here, you kind of see a different color. You kind of see it right here in front of the sprayer. We blew about 20 gallons of fluid out. All over every thing. Good news is, the new fluid took a little bit of stiff steering out of my steering. I'm worried about that, but that problem has fixed itself. Blue fluid everywhere. Should have been done by now. We're right at one o'clock. Down here running at nine, one of things. Right back over old tracks again to get back to where this thing figured out. It took me a little bit to get it figured out. Well, I figured out the problem. Once I got, I had to let it cool for me to get the hydraulic fluid cool enough I could mess up those hose boots. So, pinhole one in that hose back there, right against the pump. Slowed hose give out. But I had to make some calling, make some, I had to make some phone calls to figure out just exactly what type of hydraulic fluid to put in this. I was right here by the tank, it says mineral-based mineral hydraulic fluid. And then the service manual I have for this is for like a early 2000s model, like an 05 model. It runs basically the same motor and everything. It's just a different system. That system said this thing runs Dextron transmission fluid as hydraulic fluid. I called uh, Ohio Valley Ag, which are, they are an Apache dealer up in, the one I called up in Kentucky. Talked to their service department and they're like, hey, we're going to call the factory to see as far as that old. And they said it was anything of the type of hydraulic fluid they said. And I asked the question, I said, oh, so you're saying it's like the case in the case international red fluid. They're like, yeah, that's exactly the type of fluid it needs. Cool. We got some of that stuff. It is not. It is not cheap. Not at all. Had to build me high dock hose and got high dock fluid. And 
I put 20 gallons in, which, you know, that's four buckets, four or five gallon buckets. I think it was a hundred and twenty-five dollars a bucket. Woo! Yeah, expensive, expensive. But yeah, the steering is so much better. Okay, we got her running again. Uh, no, we didn't film that because uh, I don't like to use that many beeps when I edit a video. We got to fix though. Looks like we have a break in the wire off the main pump that goes to the hydraulic pump. So we've, uh, I'll probably I'll explain it, but we've actually had to run a new wire and then mainly open a valve up to finish spraying for a day and we'll be done spraying. Rain's on the way here. So we're, this is the last, that's the last field right there of wheat fungicide and we'll be done. Well Alex called me I was moving stuff around the house and I come out here and help him with that. I'm gonna go back and help pick a spray trailer up that way in case it starts raining it's picked up and windows close up on it and then uh we'll head to the house go from there. Well folks we got done spraying wheat and only took you know let's see it's six o'clock should have been done about one, you know, but a little bit higher than our hydraulic line, lost about 20 gallons of fluid, got that problem fixed. Finished spraying all that field right through there. And then the second field we had to spray, I got to fold up the bones to go from one to another. You know, maybe a little 15 yard, like 15 yard spot to drive through, I drove through it. Unfold boom, set them down, turn the pump on, nothing. It don't spray a lick. Well, somehow we lost power from our pump, pump switch to the actuator under the cab. I called Jesse. He brought me a meter and some tools. I didn't have a multimeter in here. We figured out that we had power in the switch. We had power leaving the switch. We just lose the power somewhere in the wire bundle. Do I know where? Nope, not a clue. So what we did, we jumped the wire from the pump switch to that actuator, it come on and off. We got that working. We figured out that one of the actuators that turns the flow on to all the booms may or may not, have, well it did lose power. When we, plugged it, when we unplugged it and opened it up by hand and then plugged the actuator back on, it automatically shut. So it's, with everything with everything on, it, it wasn't staying open. So we just opened it up manually, let the unplug so it stay open, that way we can finish spraying. But I did notice that my, my gallons per acre was fluctuating from like 11.8 to like 12.2, kind of in that range. Right now, it is holding steady on the money on 12 gallons an acre. I mean, it is holding steady. So I'm thinking that actuator might be dead. And then, <coughs> when we get back up to the shop and get a free day, we're going to fix our jump around wire. It'll actually fix it right. But now we're heading out. Country back roads, how I hate the and they're buying in cars and whatnot, but they ain't made for equipment. All right, folks, we are back in the old road. So that means we got to go get a semi. So we'll catch up, y'all, probably tomorrow.